Hi everyone, hope you're well. Okay, a very special and magical cocktail for you this week. I'm making the Golden Snit cocktail. Yay! I've not done a Harry Potter inspired cocktail for a while, so I thought it was time to do one. Uh, the garnish for this cocktail is going to be the Golden Snit part and then the rest came to me afterwards. Um, so I decided to do a rum drink for this Harry Potter themed cocktail. So we're going to be using some rum, some Velvet Falernum, some Orgeet, or yeet or j, uh, almond liqueur, some angusters, bitters, and some lime juice. So not too much going on in this one. Um, oh, and then a little special ingredient at the end as well. Um, so I'm so excited to do this this week because I don't know if you all know this, but I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. My channel was originally going to be sort of Harry Potter cocktails, but I couldn't really think of enough to be fair. I've only thought of a few. So anyway, this is this is this. This is a Harry Potter inspired one. So let's get going with it. We're going to start with the rum and we're going to do 40 mils of rum in the shaker. So 40 mils goes in here. Lovely. Then we're going to do 25 ml of the velvet flaring in here. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That's how I, that's how I pronounce it. Um, 25 ml. Perfect. Then it's going to be 10 ml of the almond syrup. I absolutely love this. And the new one bottle that I've got in this Giffords almond syrup is oh, so good. It really is beautiful. So. It's quite a big bottle as well, it's quite hard to hold. Um, 10 mils of that in here. Then 10 mils of the lime juice, which I have already squeezed. Ten mils in here. And then just a few dashes of Angadir Spitters as well. I'm going to do it over here because it always splashes all over my bar, which annoys me a lot. <laughs> There we go, so that's all the ingredients for this cocktail. I'm going to add ice to the shaker as I usually do. And give it a little bit of a shake up. Okay, then my special ingredient I'm going to add in as well. Oh, and this off. usually um, that difficult to get off. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, what's going on today? I'm so sorry about that. I would cut that out, but I'm rubbish at technology and I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I should have added this in first of all. Okay, so the special ingredient is going to be some golden dazzle dust just for the golden snitch part. And I think it's going to look really cool in the glass. So I'm just going to put two little spoons in here. Look at the tiny little spoon that they gave me with it. It's so cute. Uh, so two in here. And give it another bit of a shake. Just a little one. Like something else is gonna go wrong now. Like, oh. Okay, there we go. Now for my really special garnish. I am so chuffed with this. I had this in my head to do for so long, but the fruit, a uh, cape gooseberry. I don't know the actual name for it. That's what I call it. Um, I don't think it was in season, so I couldn't find it anywhere for so long. So I ended up just buying a whole bunch on eBay. So there we go. Um, but yeah, I put some gold leaf around it, and it sort of looks like a golden snitch. I'm so happy with this. Okay, so pour your drink in. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I do need to do a whole channel on just them um, Harry Potter cocktails. Oh, you can tell I chuffed you. Okay, there we go. There is my golden snitch cocktail. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Gorgeous. These two things go really well together, as you'll probably know. Um, there are lots of different cocktails, so they just work so well. And just the, the orgeat in there as well, and the lime juice, everything's coming through really well. It's just a really magical drink. 
<laughs> thank you for watching again and join me next week on the Borough Home Bar where I'll be baking. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but it's going to be pretty cool. So join me then. Cheers and happy cocktailing. <laughs>